Dale coming back with you an update with an update on the dyno. Um, I didn't get as much time to work on it tonight as I wanted to, but I did get some stuff done to it. Uh, I started working on the Arduino stuff, and I already had a good chunk of the load cell figured out, but I wanted to get it wired up with an LCD screen um, and just do some test fitting or test testing with the code. So I'm going to show you the results of that. All right, apologize about the low lighting. I'm going to power this thing up. Let's see if I can get it to bring up the screen here. Let me restart this. All right, so the welcome screen. It's saying the scale has been set to zero. It brings you the pounds on the scale and the RPM. That's not foot pounds right now, that is just pound reading. So, I'm going to zoom back out of here. And right now I'm just powering it with a 9 volt. And really in, um, in operation I should be able to use a 9 volt too. Or something of the sort. I might get an AC wall adapter to plug the unit in. I'm not totally sure yet. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. And on this load cell right here. Um, you can actually pick the thing up and see the reading I'm going to show you that because the engine on this thing rotates clockwise it's going to be picking this caliper up whenever the brakes are applied so and with that it's going to be run, transferring the force through this rod on this load cell and that force is readable on my screen so I'm going to zoom back into my well I'm going to show you I'm going to pull up on this as if the brakes were being applied the motor was running dyno was working and show you the screen, um, the pounds on the screen changing. So zoom in. There we go. All right. I'm gonna try to keep this as still as still as possible here. So pull up. I'm actually picking the unit up. And then back to zero. So hands off of it right now. And pick the unit back up. You can see 25, 28. I got 30 out of it. I, um, and before when I was doing my testing, I was actually putting one of my hands underneath of it and one of my hands on top of it. The thing weighs about five pounds, apparently. There's probably five pounds of force on that because I can max the scale or the strain gauge the load cell whatever you want to call it out at 40 pounds so this thing will be fine the 40 pound feet of torque after that I'm going to have to change that load cell out um which I highly doubt I'm going to see on this five horse Kawasaki um that V twin right there may do that obviously and at that point I'll just get a bigger load cell because I can go I can get a 500 pound load cell for practically nothing and that one I won't run out of range on this setup at all. So, but that's what I have going on right now. Uh, next up, probably tomorrow night's going to be working on the RPM input, which I started getting stuff for. Um, I got some all thread because I'm going to make it adjustable for gap sizing um, between that bolt and the head of the VR sensor. And I've got the code pretty much figured out in the Arduino. I'm going to hopefully tomorrow night get that mounted up and start in on um, figuring out, making sure the code works correctly. And I have um, I have a digital yeah timing light that has an RPM readout. So I'm going to compare the two because that will hook right onto the um, spark plug, and I'm going to compare the two readings and see if it's relatively close to being accurate. I know there might be a tiny bit of belt slip. There shouldn't be, but there might. So I just want to make sure everything there is, you know, lining up correctly. And then after that, I'm going to figure out my input from the spark plug for an inductive input into the Arduino, so that way I can data log both um, the RPM from the dyno wheel itself right in front of the rotor and from the spark plug. I can compare the two to see if there's any belt slip during the run. Um, 
the files are going to get saved to an SD card, which I have to put on the Arduino yet. That will probably happen some point this week. And it will save all the data files just right to um, right to the Arduino. And right now I have them, I'm going to have them set up to code out to a file that Megalog Viewer MS will read. So I'm like my 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 pretty much my horsepower and torque plots over RPM are going to be displayed on Mega Log Viewer MS. Eventually that's going to change. Um, I want to get it to where it will code out also um, another file for doing the pretty much um, reading out with like a professional dyno software. I believe it's going to be Win7 Dyno or Win7 Pro Dyno. I can't remember exactly. But it's a software that's free to get um, and I plan on using that software to look at the run files on this so that way I'm not reinventing the wheel of making new software or anything like that but that is the update for tonight thank you for watching